and 2024, in fact, I scored around 125 in CSAT. I've taken SIRS course for CSAT. And the two after that, scary 2023 attempt, right? He was such a person who could explain concepts very well. He had that conceptual clarity. Of course, the test series comes. I used to give his mocks. Please make use of the course. Uh, I think for CSAT, this is the best. And I've always recommended his course for all my friends for CSAT. Uh, I'm Dr. Sachin. I come from Karnataka. And this was my fourth attempt. And uh, I've cleared UPSC with All India Rank 41. And I had anthropology as my optional. And uh, I had taken SIRS course for CSAT. And the two after that, scary 2023 attempt, right? Although I cleared a 2023 attempt back then, but the fear that it instilled, what direction CSAT might take for her, right? So I had to take his course. And I met sir through YouTube video, right? And I felt that he was such a person who could explain concepts very well. He had that conceptual clarity. And he asked that fundamental question in that YouTube, like, why, uh, uh, I remember one fun, uh, the infinity, the question about infinity. It was, it had that philosophical tan, uh, angle to it. So I liked that. And uh, after I came and enrolled in his course uh, for the conceptual clarity and all. And then also uh, with the course, the test series comes. I used to uh, give his mocks. I gave around uh, five, seven mocks, I believe. So basically uh, it gave me confidence to attempt 2024 attempt. Although I might not have, uh, um, what do you say? Without Taking classes, I had cleared 2021, 22, 23, but 24 ka, that because of that fear, I had to do this. And 2024, in fact, I scored around 125 in CSAT, which is not required. You just need to score around 70. Uh, so please make use of the course. Uh, I think for CSAT, this is the best. And I've always recommended this course for all my friends for CSAT. So you can make use of it and uh, come meet, sir, for all your uh, conceptual clarity and questions. And I uh, wish you all the best for your attempt this time. Do well. It's prelims time, so I won't take much time of yours, right? Prepare well. Do best. If you have any questions, yeah, yeah. Well, from the last, last one, man, like... Right. That's what, like, if you have yeah, already... With respect to? Subject backlog. We just backlog, so then you have to find a CSAT on 20 See, for the only thing that worked for me is I was always a methodological guy. Like I was very systematic in my approach. Like if I have these many tasks, I look for, okay, how many days I have, how many hours I have, and what are the tasks to be done. And also in the tasks, you can prioritize, right? This is the most, for example, revision and learning from the previous mistake. Like if you had made uh, notes of your previous mistakes and C said to, yeah, it's a qualifying paper, you should do it, right? So prioritize accordingly, which is important, which is not, and give adequate time accordingly. It's not like you should uh, blatantly divide it into equal time. You should prioritize and give adequate time and execute. Don't worry about all other things. Whatever works for you, do it. And that's what I'm saying. Whatever I am saying is just this side of my story, right? And every one of you should create your own stories, actually, right? Every one of us has a different uh, journey. So go ahead. But in the last one month, what I would recommend is, one, uh, revision, right? Nothing, nothing more than that. Revision, revision, revision across all papers, uh, like history, polity, economy, geography, everywhere. And second thing is, if you have not completed any current affairs modules or something, do uh, be uh, done with it by, what day today is? 24th of April, right? By at least May, first week May, be done with it. After that, no new readings, okay? Just do the factual revisions more back then, right? Uh, from May 10th to whatever, May 25th is the exam. So. Factual, like history, factual, uh, the IR part, all those factual things you do. And last 10 days may, if you can do the PYQ papers, last 10 PYQ papers from 9.30 to 11.30, every single day. Okay, just do it so that UPSC exam should feel like just another exam for you by the, by the time, right? So if you can do that, that's good enough.